Greetings, warriors of the Trident Isles. I'm extremely excited to share the brand new content we are adding to Navy Simulator. This update includes new content to improve the balance of the game, including rebellions, sonar, and depth charges. Have you ever gotten exiled and frustrated that you can no longer join the C team? Well, this update brings you three new solutions to this. Now, when you try to join the C team as an exiled player, you will be shown a new menu presenting three options. The first option is to request a pardon from the base commander. If the base commander accepts your pardon, your exile status will be revoked. You can only request a pardon once per server. The second option is to pay off your exile. This can be done with Robux or in-game cash. Once the exile fine is paid, you can join the C team again. The third option is to start a rebellion. These can be started every 30 minutes. Once you start a rebellion, a cruiser will spawn with you as the captain. All exiled players will be asked to join the rebellion. If not enough players join, C players will then be asked if they want to join the rebellion. C team can win a rebellion by sinking the rebel cruiser or capturing it and holding it for one minute. If C wins the rebellion, all rebels will be put in prison. Rebels can win by killing the base commander or holding the water cooler in the base commander's office for one minute. If the rebels win, the base commander will be forced to resign. The rebels will have their exile status removed and they will be put back on the C team. The Trident Isles fleet has finally been equipped with anti-submarine warfare technology. The Corvette, Torpedo Boat, Frigate, and Destroyer have all been given depth charge racks and a brand new sonar station located near the ship's bridge. To operate the sonar, a player needs to be sitting in the sonar station's seat. Once sonar detects an object, all players on your team will see the ping. The sonar system will detect any vehicle at least seven studs below the waterline, including ships and even crashed planes. Sonar has a detection range of 2,000 studs, but requires a line of sight for detection, and it can only scan up to 120 studs deep. This means, if you want to avoid sonar detection as a submarine captain, you can evade detection by diving below 120 studs. Depth charges can be configured and dropped right from the sonar operator's seat. Once released, they will wait until they've sunk to the set depth 50, 100, or 150 studs and detonate, killing any nearby players and breaching the hulls of any nearby submarine. Depth charges have an effective blast radius of 150 studs, but can only damage the hulls of submerged submarines. If they're surfaced and exposed to air, the blast can't send a hard compressive force through the hull and no damage will be done. Death charge racks will automatically start reloading once all charges have been dropped. Will you be a rebel or will you defend the base from them? The choice is yours in this new update. We hope you enjoy the brand new content coming to Navy Simulator. See you on the battlefield.